So I'm um, kind of cleaning out the Jeep here, just giving it a little wash. There's not really any difference between how it looked before and now, but just, you know, clean it up a little because I'm actually going to start taping it out to do the stripes on it. And I know I should sand it and primer and all that fucking good old bullshit, but I'm not going to. Why? Because tomorrow after I go to the desert, it's going to be all fucking scratched, just like my other trucks. So it's fucking pointless. You know, I want it to look good, you know, and it's green outfit and zebra striped and whatnot. But, you know, it's going to last so long, so why go through all that work? Plus, the body work on this is just extensive if I wanted to do a good body. And I don't, you know? It's already fucking chopped. So it would be pretty much pointless at this point in time now for this good old wagon here. So, I'm planning to do the the green with zebra stripes and... Uh, I did some letters here, just... So I was bored. Did a little stencil here. See, it's Jeep. Just real quick with the blade, you know. See that comes out cool. Oh, and I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I was gonna do the truck crocodile slime. However, uh, I had a hookup with a buddy at this place where they make spray paint paints you know and uh, I think he got fired or something like that so he wasn't able to hook me up anymore and it was gonna be like 15 bucks or something for each can so I ended up going with Krylon um, the pistachio paint so that's pretty much what's going on right now it's gonna be this light ice green Crocodile's line was cool, but, you know, expensive kind of kills the cool. Up. So I'm here um, with my trusty employee. <laughs> we're doing the zebra stripes here. And if anybody ever told you that zebra stripes were easy, well, you should just go ahead and punch them right in the kisser because it's not that easy. And you can see here, it's going. Um, these here are not done yet. You can tell the tape's still straight. So we go with the knife after that with the little blade and then give them the shape. You no, know, right there it still needs to be done and whatnot. I ran out of tape, I already wasted a big ass roll of masking tape. So for now that's it and that's how it looks with that bar. I still haven't welded or screwed it on. But that's pretty much how it's gonna look, except it's gonna be I think it's gonna be flat black and not chrome. So here's my trusty employee taking care of the rest of the paint job while texting. That's multitasking for you right here. And, um, well, pretty much, you know, like I said, it's a simple Rattlecam paint job. We only had enough paint and tape for the half of the truck here, but it looks good. So finally, um, let it dry a little. Unmasked some of it. I didn't finish unmasking it because it's getting dark, so I could just get the video in. Um, let me show you here. It actually takes a while to get all these fucking tapes off. But it pays well. You know? It's good old. Let's see if I can get this big stripe off here. All at once. Oh. Here it goes. Here it goes. Damn piece of shit. So check out my letters I did, the Jeep letters. I freestyled those. Well, um, they were getting the tape for me, so you know, they came out pretty good. I'll let you know the secret for the same exact E's. It's cut out one E, take it off carefully, and then put it on top of the other one while you, you cut out the stencil of that, and two exact same E's come out for Jeep.